Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Collective, I'm still getting more energy about what was going down today. What was going down was karma, y'all. You would have seen it. You couldn't have helped but see it. It was all over the place, right? Not only in the energy, it was all in front of your face, not just yours, but I feel like this was playing out in front of a bunch of people because this is what's coming out in the energy, right? And my last reading, this was, you were getting justice in the situation. I got two very specific people, a masculine and a feminine. Um, they came out as the emperor in their inverse and the empress in the inverse, right? So take the energy as it resonates with whomever this, uh, these people are friend, family member, the ex, the karmic attached to the ex, your boss, your coworker, somebody that you just met today. It, it was negative people who've done something to you, right? So assign the energy as it resonates, but they partnered against you with some people, but y'all karma is sitting everybody all the way down, okay? What is happening is the justice that came out on the last reading, right? And it's something that you would have seen. You couldn't help but see it. And this is what's coming out in the energy because you're coming out with the energy of the five of cups in the reverse. This is you having faith in the future because you're seeing karma play out, okay? You I'm, you know what I'm talking about, Collective. You saw this, okay? You, you're having faith in the future and you're being grateful for what you have. You're just grateful to be and just aware that you already are abundant. And I was talking about that yesterday. People with lack mindsets, what was I talking about? The magician and the inverse energy that came out. Was it yesterday or the day before? Whatever. But when you have that lack mindset, especially let's say around money, right? People who are always looking for something, right? You know, they always judge people. Oh, you ain't got this. You ain't got that. Money is just energy. It just is. It doesn't make you better and it doesn't make you worse. I think money comes and goes. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even a thing to, you know, brag about because it's like, it's just energy especially when you use that energy to make somebody feel less than that's that magician in the inverse energy but you're not that person you're five of cups in the reverse you're grateful for what you have whatever it is because whatever is yours is yours whether it's ten dollars a hundred dollars or a hundred million dollars okay collective what's yours is yours and you're grateful for it and i write collective that's what allows you to have that abundance that the most high will give you whatever you need you will never have a lack mindset because whatever is coming to you is what it will be coming to you because that is your guaranteed abundance from the most high. And there was something that you were being called to do, right? The seven of cups in the reverse energy is coming out for you. You know what I'm saying? This seven of cups in the inverse is making, uh, finding focus, setting your intentions and making the right choice about this negative energy that was going on. You're already abundant. You're already over here chilling like, mm -hmm, I'm good. But there was something about this energy that you needed to make the right choice about. And that's why I put a message on the community board today. Observe, but don't absorb. Y'all, I don't make up the energy. Here go the card right here to tell you. <laughs> Observe, but don't absorb because this was their karma that they had to deal with. You're already grateful already on your own. You're over here sitting pretty. All you had to do was sit back and watch. Come on, collective. The Most High wanted you to understand that you were getting justice. Like the card uh, came out in my last reading. You were getting justice. Make the right decision to make sure that you're not absorbing absorbing this energy, this energy, the Ten of Wands energy, right? It wasn't yours to absorb. Somebody or somebody's were freaking out today. You know, whoever this was, this played out amongst a group of people, right? This Ten of Wands is having a lot of burden, you know, feeling overwhelmed, feeling really stressed, right? This is somebody who is visibly stressed, visibly acting out, visibly reacting, visibly, oh my God, the world is ending. I'm getting karma. Yes, you are. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, you are. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting a lot of dual energy and it's, it's coming out through the, the reading. So one... I'm getting that what's happening and that the most high wanted you to understand is that what's happening to them is what they did to you. At one point in time, or maybe even still up to this day, they were making you feel this 10 of wands, weren't they? Pressure, burden, overwhelm. This is what's happening to them. It wasn't your energy. So if you were picking up on it telepathically or um, you know, when you're empathic energy, right? Picking up on their energy, it wasn't yours, it was theirs. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you would have need to see not to take on their energy, but this is their energy. They were they were freaking out, overwhelmed, stressed out, dealing with some temperance in the reverse energy, literally doubling down on all the stress. Y'all, this would have been somebody who was lit. You could see it. 
you know, the little vein popping out on the forehead and everything, okay? <laughs> the temperance and the inverse is a lot of discord, right? Doing things in indulgence, excess, just imbalance in their energy, imbalance in their emotions, imbalance of whatever they were doing. This person would have been all over the place, very erratic. And I said that on my last reading too, because I was picking up on their energy is very, uh, a lot of anxiety, right? Y'all, I don't make up the energy. Here goes, who goes the person right here? This one right here, this queen of cups in the reverse. This is the energy I was picking up that was having the anxiety attack, right? This queen of cups in the inverse is a very unrealistic person. They're not in touch with their emotions. You are, you're sitting over here on EG Street. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all energies are polar opposites? Literally, literally. You're over good, you're over here good. This one's over here freaking out, right? This queen of cups in the inverse is also somebody who's over emotional, overreacting. Y'all, I do not make up the energy. It's right here. This is the one who was doing the most, right? Yeah. And it's freaking out because now this, the crap is hitting the fan. Oh, it's called karma. You brought this all on yourself. But again, collective, I'm getting a dual energy. This is all the energy that they directed towards you. And this is coming back. Return to sender times 10. Y'all, this is what I'm getting. And the energy, all this energy is returning back to them because you are not in a low vibration. You are happy. You're grateful for what the most high is doing for you. And you set your intentions to stay focused on your journey and not this ridiculousness right now. Literally confirmation, tower in the reverse. This is you cutting this person off in this energy. The decision that you need to make to cut this person off. I don't care who this person is. This could be your mom, okay? Whoever this person is that was freaking all the way out today, you cut them off. Uh, tower in the, in, in the inverse, right? This is the energy of release. This is the energy of getting the ability to start fresh and going with the flow. Y'all, and I think that at, at a certain point, when you saw this energy, this person flipping all the way out, you know what I'm saying? You'd have been like, I just want to sit back and just watch. It, it's coming to me as like, you thought it was funny. <laughs> Collector, did you laugh in this person's face? But please don't laugh in this person's face. No, I'm just kidding. But it's coming to me as like funny. You're like, you're sitting back and like, mm -hmm, I know you're dealing with karma. Like I, this is how it's coming to me in the energy. Like you saw what they were going through and you know exactly why they were going through it. Because again, what I'm picking up in this energy of what they're flipping out about is how they made you feel on purpose, y'all. And here's a confirmation. This person carried the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Being very impatient, being rushing, always being in their ego, commitment issues, you know what I'm saying, collective? This is somebody who did this on purpose with a higher front in the inverse, right? Being very corrupt, being very rogue. Um, like I said, I did feel a group of people, so this possibly this higher front in the inverse is a group of people, because I do feel that for this situation. But this person is dealing with this energy because this person feels some type of way because they feel like they got some bad advice with this higher front and the inverse energy. They feel slighted. That's why they're all flipping out because it's like, no, this can't happen to me. I can give the collective bad advice. Come on, collective. I told you I'm getting a very dual energy. Everything that they're feeling is everything that they did to you. So this Knight of Wands in the reverse energy, they were very non-committal with you being very rushing, impatient, and in their ego with you, right? They also gave you bad advice, being very corrupt with you. This is how they're feeling because somebody else is doing it to them, y'all. Whoo, look y'all. Y'all over here by yourself, just like, mm -hmm -hmm. yep, this is karma. This is what you, y'all, what you put out is what you get back. This is exactly why I'm getting this energy. It's like a dual energy. It's happening to them, right, Collective? This, uh, I feel like this is somebody who literally got some bad advice. They, they didn't have no problems. They didn't think twice about being corrupt with you. But no, it can't happen to me. No, 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 I'm flipping out. I'm losing my absolute lid when somebody does it to me because this person carries the eight of swords energy, very limited thinking, very trapped in their head. I can do it to you, but nobody can do it to me. Very unrealistic person, told you, queen of cups in the reverse energy. I don't make up any of this. This is how this person is. It keeps them trapped in their head. It also keeps them insecure because it's like, it's their only way to prop up who they are. I did say that insecure energy came up as well. This would have been somebody who would have been trying to like emulate your, uh, emulate your energy, but they can't emulate it. 
So they try to like go behind, okay, well, what does the collective do? I can do whatever they do, but I can do it better. I can be better than them. And they fall on their face flat when they can't do it better. If this is your uh, your ex of karmic, this is your uh, your ex of karmic trying to be like, oh, I can oh I can get your 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 uh, your ex's attention. Meanwhile, the ex don't want to pay attention to no no more. You know what I'm saying? Or if this is like a situation at a job. You got a coworker who's trying to do the exact same job that you do and got frustrated and give up because they can't do it. Because that energy came out on my last reading too. So whoever this person is, who, however the situation resonates, this is somebody so insecure. It's literally it traps them and bottles them up into an unrealistic view of how they do things, right? Which is why they carry the judgment in the reverse. You know, very self-absorbed. They're always judging people. They're always judging people because they think they're better. But again, dual energy at the same time. This person is judging somebody else or getting judged by somebody else. I feel like this person's judging somebody else. Okay? This judgment in the universe is somebody who's also very self-absorbed with them. Also somebody who's judging them very harshly. This queen of pentacles right here, y'all. I can't make this up. Now, I don't make up the energy. In the last reading that I uploaded today, we had an empress in the inverse and an emperor in the inverse, right? I said the masculine that I was getting, um, that was embodying the emperor in the inverse energy, I said that that was a masculine that I'm getting very specifically. It doesn't always have to, but it was a masculine energy that I was getting, right? But that masculine energy that I was getting, I felt that masculine was moving in a feminine energy, y'all. And here this person comes out as a queen of pentacles. Y'all, I don't lie. I don't make up the energy. I tell you what I feel and I, you know, I let you know. You know what I'm saying? This queen of pentacles in the inverse energy, right? This person I do feel is a masculine, this queen of pentacles, okay? This particular person is very greedy. They're very lazy. They're irresponsible, especially financially. Pentacles in the inverse energy, right? They're also very, they also like to show off. This is somebody who's also very insecure. Again, dual energy all the way around. These are the, these are two peas in the pod legit empress and emperor in the inverse they're the same lazy greedy irresponsible lazy person a lot of laziness this is also laziness too there's not a ones in the inverse told you these two people are two peas in the pod they're they're exactly the same but they're having problems this person this queen of pentacles in the reverse is carrying the energy of the two of cups in the reverse they're disloyal now to this one that's probably also why this person's freaking out so if this is your ex over here right your ex is disloyal to this karmic, okay? If this is your co-worker, your boss done cut off your co-worker and said your co-worker's an idiot. You know what I'm saying? If this is your family member, them, them two have been tight, tight like glue, going at it with you, trying to put you down and say such and such and such about you. Oh, but now they got a problem with each other, man. Collective. This is what I'm getting in the energy, right? This two of cups in the inverse energy is right next to this queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles in the reverse is a disloyal person. This is unrequited feelings, you know what I'm saying? And relationship problems. Relationship problems, not with you, collective, with the person that's flipping all the way out. This irrational one over here that's got anxiety that you would have been looking and laughing at. <laughs> Yo. It's called karma. These people are giving, they're getting the exact same energy that they gave to you. Return to sender times 10. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that this is a feminine and this is a masculine. This masculine is moving in feminine energy. I feel there's a lot of insecurity with them, with this eight of swords energy as well. This is making this person a disloyal friend. The crap is hitting the fan is what it is. And they're both trying to run and hide. Y'all, this is what I'm getting. Literally, Eight of Wands energy. Y'all, I don't make up a single thing. Eight of Wands energy is movement, travel, speed, and relocation. When I tell you this masculine ran and hid, he ran and hid, okay? You know, and I'm, like I'm telling you, I'm getting a masculine moving in feminine energy uh, is what I'm picking up. If this is a, a, a actual feminine energy in your situation, flip the energy as it resonates. I'll let you know when I pick up. But this person, this Queen of Pentacles in the inverse, ran and hid, which is exactly why this relationship problems and this just disloyal friend is right next to them. It's them that's running and hiding. And this one over here is flipping all the way out. Because when the stuff hits the fan, oh, you know, kar karmic number one ain't going to be there to hold you down, are they? Come on, collective. This is uh, the karmic dealing with your ex still. The karmic had so much to say about you. Now, didn't she? Or didn't he? Oh, well, they found out that your ex is a dirtbag too. Stalking, stalking them too. Putting them down, stealing from them too. Y'all, people better listen. You know what I'm saying? 
just because they left you, they're still a dirt bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Collected. So this is somebody who left the karmic or whoever it was that was going against you. These two are two peas in a pod. One of them is leaving the other. I feel like it's coming to me like they ran and hid like a coward. This is literally what is going to come on, y'all. <laughs> I can't make up this energy. I literally just said they ran and hid like a coward. And here come the strength card. What you need strength for if you're strong. Come on now, collective. This person is trying to be strong over this energy because this person is hiding from everything hitting the fan. That's what's going on. It's, kar it's karma. You can't run from karma. God saw how much of a crappy person that you are to the collective. God saw every time that you said some nasty, deliberate things to hurt the collective's feelings, to put the collective down, to try to give them bad advice, to being, you know, very non-committal, cheating on them. Every time you did that, God saw. So did their ancestors. Now this person wants to have some strength after they run and hide it, trying to get find some courage and trying to, you know, find their inner fearlessness to deal with the situation because of the Ten of Cups in the inverse. They're not happy. They're not happy how all this is going down. No, nobody likes it when they get karma. But they absolutely are okay with it when they treat you the way that they treat you. They thought it was all fun and games. They ain't laughing now, are they, Collective? Mm -mm. These people are not laughing. They are not happy. This one's flipping out. This one's trying to be strong. <laughs> trying to be strong, but this one's not happy either. This is all because of the unrealistic goals that they have dealing with you. This is what's being returned back to them. What they put out is exactly what they're getting back. Not happy. They're having relationship problems because of their unrealistic goals and now ten of wands in the reverse they got to give up they're weak they have to drop their defenses this one is when i say this person is running and hiding this one is literally running and hiding like a coward because they can't take the karma they're trying to have the strength but they can't take it y'all see how that comes out strength they're not happy the ten of nine of wands in the reverse they gotta drop it they have to drop their defenses they have to give this up because they're weak dealing with the energy of the moon y'all still dealing with that moon energy and ain't no joke when people are trying to play you mm -mm, that's going to get returned right back this moon energy is their emotions these people are really dealing with their emotions and, I'm, and the energy that i'm getting is you would have seen this this would have been a big blow up in front of a bunch of people public embarrassment public blow up this is them not being able to hold it together. This one is trying to, but it's not working out, okay? <laughs> because of the deception that they carry. They not only try to deceive you, I'm getting an energy they deceive other people too, and it's all coming out. Y'all, this is literally a big event for these two people. They're both not dealing with it well, you know what I'm saying? Literally, Ace of Cups energy. This is a new emotional situation from them that they can't handle. Why? Because they were chilling with the devil dealing with their addictions, toxic uh, behavior, you know, their, their temptations. This is lustful energy. If this is, you know, somebody that you're involved with, they couldn't stop being, you know, the, the person that just chasing people, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, that's all you like. That's the, oh, okay. So look how the devil repays you back. Are, are, are you having fun now? I don't think these people are having fun. <laughs> They're not having fun. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, moving into devil energy, that's any type of addictive behavior. This could be somebody who was addicted just to lying, lying on you, stealing from you, trying to mistreat you, just addicted to stalking you, addicted to just that negative behavior. But what is the devil repaying them with now? Mm -mm. The devil was the first loser. If you're hanging with the devil, you're going to lose, period, point blank. Because the Most High is not going to let the collective fail. Because when you look at this energy over here, collective, you are absolutely fine. You are having faith in the future. You're recovering, honey, because you have made the right choice not to be dealing with these people who move in devil energy. You know what I'm saying, collective? Whoever these people are, I find a clarifier is that they are dealing with a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse energy. These people are having financial difficulties. Um, I do feel for one of them very specifically, but I do mainly feel for both. But one of them very specifically is now going to be codependent on the other because of the calamity that they got going on. This has some financial blowback for one or both of them, more so for one than the other is what I'm getting. This is a very codependent energy. This is also blowback and karma for them being codependent on your energy. This is also very uh, a blowback for being a copycat. This is blowback for being insecure. 
If this person can't stand on their own two feet and be their own man or woman, that they gotta, they, they can't stop being a bully with you. They can't stop lying on you. They can't try to, uh, can't stop trying to sabotage you. They can't stop trying to get you fired. They can't stop trying to break you up with the next person. Come on, collective. This is the devil repaying them back. Now who's having the problems? Now who's having financial blowback? Now who's actually got to depend on somebody? Look, collective, this is the rewards for their misdeeds. It's called karma. Let's get a, a, a visions of duality so we get some advice for our collective. Part 21, the castle that broke it down. Somebody's castle is breaking. Stop hanging out with the devil and you wouldn't be dealing with this. You know what I'm saying? Control is an illusion. One cannot choose what to feel and when to feel, as many things come bundled together like joys and sorrows. The only way to never be hurt is to never open oneself up to feelings because being hurt will just happen. And as it will happen, it will also go away. The human being is a fragile creature. The fortress we erect to protect our heart are luckily built with sand and will crumble with the tide. They can make us invulnerable through the night, but in the sun, it is wiser to accept our fragilities. Advice, do not build walls that you do not need just because you may need them. And it's a, there's a quote here, says the strongest love is one that can demonstrate its fragility. Collective, and when it comes to that pure love, and I told y'all on y'all energy, I felt it. Um, I actually literally see it like a pure white light. You love purely. You love without malice. You love without any deceptive intentions. If this is a relationship, I don't care what type of relationship, friend, family, you know, your ex or whatever, you have a pure love. You have no motive behind it. But these people do. That's how they live. That's why they ain't got nothing right now or they're losing something. If you have a pure heart, your abundance is guaranteed. You're also protected for the, by the most high, your spirit guides and your ancestors, regardless of what these people do, because they will always reap the rewards of their misdeeds. Okay. Let's get a divine nature oracle and we'll wrap it up. Card 25 talks about focus. Um, that's what you're being called to do with that uh, seven of cups in the reverse. You have a choice right now to look at what you treasure what you love and what you hope to hold for the future despite what reality tells you is or look at what you don't want what isn't working what you are fearful of or what you worry about either way what you think about grows your focus is a power source amplifying and expanding what it perceives now is the time to use this very simple power to direct the energy and flow of your experience when you focus on what you already have with gratitude and what you want with love and appreciation, you are creating the energetic version of your vision before there is any proof in the material world. And that's exactly why they're dealing with this karma because you have found your focus, seven of cups in the reverse energy. You focused on yourself. You focused on real love. You focused on genuine love that has no malice, no manipulation, no devil energy behind it. That's not love. That's obsession. That's lies. Obsession, lies, manipulation, none of that is love, but you absolutely know what love is because you found focus while their castle is breaking it down. That's gonna go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.